it is a sacred, a secular, sacred obligation. When you are co-coaching, especially, you're you're working to to change a person's life to help the other per to help the person change their life. It's high stakes. It's important. Real focus. Really listen. Really listen. Put your ego away. Really fucking listen. <laughs> we all want to be agreed with. But, but part of putting your ego aside is when you are in the role of the coach really encouraging disagreement. Honesty is critical. And if you are the coachee, the more honest you can be, the more your coach can help you. So I simply want you to turn to the person next to you. And uh, I want you, we're going to do a, we're going to take a total of 10 minutes in which you simply follow this model. Agree that, it, that who's going who's gonna to be the coach, who's going to be the coachee. I would like one pair of you to volunteer to come and kind of do what you did in front of all of us. So why don't you tell me what the problem um, that you're having is in your, in your search? Um, the challenge I'm looking to overcome is that I'm looking for a person that I can shadow with who is addressing more corporate people as their clients versus only schools and teachers who is putting offer out in the world to be helping those corporations that are th their clients to be socially, emotionally uh, intelligent, literate. So far in a couple of years, I've met people who um, um, do this, but it's been more like on a um, schools and teacher schools and student situation, which is great because I have an avenue that way I'd um, appreciate getting up to. But it's that specific letting me work with them as a service arm, not to be competition with them, but maybe an extension of what it is that they already do until there would be that competent confidence of me stepping out on my own and doing such a avenue of work for myself, not to compete with them, but maybe part of them as a corporation of themselves. Uh, can I ask, in, in that concern, these contexts um, that you've talked to, um, have you explained what you've explained to me, kind of your idea for how you'd like to expand on the counseling or if they have advice for you? Yeah. Um, there have been a couple of people where, upon my approaching them, I think they f uh, felt intimidated or that I'm part of a competition instead of a possible comrade. Um, there was literally a lady that I met this past Tuesday that um, is about 85% of what it is that I'm looking for since with her. And I've written her a long message uh, for asking for the exact same things that I'm mentioning here on Facebook. And thus far, I have not heard back from her. But I hope with a lot of wonderful energy and lightning, she will get back to me. Um, even if it's no, I can still get a possible direction from her. I guess you say that some of the people you've um, come in contact view you as competition. Um, do you have any ideas how maybe there's a, a larger group, a corporation, a company, where they have multiple people doing a similar position where someone could give advice instead of feeling your competition and being resistant? Um, yeah, there's a handful of people. Um, any specific names? Um, not specific, but do you have an idea of a path to take to maybe find uh, contact? You said you've contacted someone on Facebook. Um, in that line, do you feel that's a good line to take? Is, is there, what are the benefits and drawbacks of, of what you've tried so far? Um, I haven't put, in, I haven't put um, very many action steps in how to connect with these people. I know that they're out there. They form forum on LinkedIn uh, by a couple of um, um, directions that can go under the same umbrella of social, emotional intelligence. 
Um, but a lot of those folks themselves are coaches themselves, and I guess they're looking for a possible bite, so to speak, amongst the ocean of that somebody would be a client. And I could be a client, but in the end, uh, mostly, I'm looking to be at the same level, if not better than what it is that I do. So, yeah. So, what's fuzzy in your mind from what? Where are you stuck right now? Uh, I guess yeah. Where to to go on from here? Um, Hi. Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm I'm not sure what what more to ask to help to to lead her to to come up with ideas. I, I guess I feel um, maybe in terms of the the knowledge. I don't know if I have any knowledge in terms of leads or directions to take. So I, I was trying to lead her um, out because I know she has, she's been working in this um, and exploring this. So she, I think she has the knowledge that she, she, the knowledge that she needs to find what she's looking for, she already has, or the, she has the pathways to get in. I'm trying to, to draw that out. If you were listening, if you were one of these organizations that she was pitching, how would you honestly, would you say, oh, yeah, yes, we'd like to bring you on board? Would you say you're f unclear what she was trying to do? Would you not buy what you, what would you really internally be feeling? I guess some some clarity in, in the position that she's looking for um, would, would have helped on my end. Precisely. So is it not your job right now to get her to do a better job of explaining what she's trying to do? because it was a little vague and o over the map. So therefore, even if she found some leads, that wouldn't be as persuasive as it needs to be. So the lesson in this is to really be, it's integrity, it's listening so honestly, is she doing a good job of pitching? You know, and I'm not gonna say, you know, so I'm not gonna destroy her, but I'll certainly ask clarifying questions. Do you feel you've stated it as clearly as you want? Do you wanna try it again? So why don't you try some of that? Okay, um, so c could you, um, do you feel that you've clearly stated the, the job goal or the job position um, or function that you're looking for? Um, um, yeah, I would, I guess what I would have to do is brainstorm on and find out if person who would let me come aboard as a service arm and shadow with them, I'd have to write out what it is that I would, <coughs> I'd have to write out some basics on what I understand social emotional intelligence is and watch their technique and what kind of skills and tools they use as well as the informations. Um, and see if after looking at them and being around them first, I can start to then craft on how I can be a service arm with either the same person, thankfully, or with someone else. It would give me a template on how to move next, at least. I guess then um, could I ask, is, are you looking for more information on the posi a position um, that you're trying to gain more knowledge about? Or do you have that position in mind and you're just looking um, to see someone um, doing it actively, some ex real world experience of what they're doing? Because um, I'm getting the sense in, in your description that you're also searching, you have an idea for a position, but you want to see it in concrete. Um. Yeah, that would be it. Um, I would need to indeed find out um, what it is of a match that I could put together with what it is that they could make for an offer. Is that we may comment here. It's kind of a As I am, while I am not supposed to be judgmental externally, we all, it's important that we do make judgments to ask the right questions to help the person. Now, I had this intuition that her knowledge of social and emotional intelligence is thin. And that before she went and pitched anything, she needed to learn much more about it. Yeah. On whether it be through reading, watching YouTube videos, or whatever. So 
in that coaching role, I'm going to use my judgmentalness in a way to tactfully ask a question. Say, to what extent, if you trusted the goddess within you, what percentage of the way there are you in terms of your knowledge about social and emotional intelligence? Zero means you know nothing. A hundred means you're a rock star. Where would you say you are? Okay, she said, I'm a 60. Well, wh let's do it. What, what, where are you on a zero to a hundred scale? Yeah, 60 is about it. Okay, and what, would the goddess with, and what would the goddess within you tell you you need to do to get to 80? I don't want to create too big a, a, a bar. What would the goddess within you tell you is your way to go about getting to an 80? Um, I do need to have more concrete information as opposed to um, a pickup game kind of moment, uh, mentality or, or action step to it. I have to get some real concrete. Yeah, it's not something you can just pick. So would you, is your way to read articles, watch YouTube videos, take a course in emotional intelligence? What's your way? I think a very fast-paced way to get from zero to 80 is if I took some courses. Start with a course, and we're, you're not. You're already at sixty. We're not at zero, right? So if you, if I said that you're, what you're telling me you want to do is perhaps look at local community colleges or four-year colleges or whatever extension programs and look for a course in emotional intelligence. Are you saying that that's really the preliminary step you want to take? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, you, but the, the hesitancy suggests that that wasn't quite <laughs> right. Sincerely, right? the hesitancy is monetary. So, would the goddess within you tell you, you need to? You can't go for a job when you don't feel you're. If you really only feel you're at a sixty, it's it's premature to get the job. So you need you need a survival job for money in the meantime, and that will then give you the luxury to then take the course and gain the level of competence that you need to be able to go forth and pitch yourself as an emotional uh, intelligence counselor. Is that right? Yeah. And yeah. Would, what would the goddess within you tell you would be the way to get that survival job? Uh, there's the rub. There's the rub. Oh. Um, you have to work on that happily, on understanding how much it is that I can work with survival and put myself then into. I'm not understanding that. What's, what's the kind of survival? J should you be a waitress? Should you be a dri an Uber driver? Should you be what would the goddess within you tell you should be your survival, a way to make survival money so you're not scared of money so much and so that you can enjoy taking that course in emotional intelligence? Yeah, um, it does happen to be, and it would give me the best time to go ahead and pursue um, looking up those courses, and that is that I already am a um, TNC or Uber, Lyft, shuttle, D-Live, couple of that ways, um, applications driver. And so let's see how you really feel. We're going to be silent for 15 seconds. Get in touch with the idea that you're going to do some more Uber driving. You're going to, for fun, maybe do a little reading of co a couple of articles or whatever on emotional intelligence. When you've got making a little more money, then you're going to go and take a course and then you're going to go look for a job that's going to pay you or at least do some job shadowing leading to a, a job that's somehow related to emotional intelligence either for a nonprofit or a government agency. How, let's be silent for 15 seconds. That's the plan that you've kind of come up with with my facilitation, what you've come up with and with his facilitation. 15 seconds of silence, then I'm going to ask you what's feeling good, what's feeling yucky, and what's feeling fuzzy. 15 seconds of silence starts now. Um, I need to help myself learn how to have more time in feeling well that I'm, I'm doing this, and it's, it's the better path, using that pronoun, I guess, or subscription, um, to help myself walk into, instead of drive and force, like I have in previous, and that's why it hasn't worked, but I've also been unclear, too, of, um, getting those courses in my life while there's been enough room to even look going towards those per my in a survival job that I can do well and not feel 
like um, I have to tolerate a, a difficult culture and so forth because those days are gone. Okay, now, of course, if we really had time, she's opened all kinds of other issues. She's had a lot of past she's having to get past. For today, we can't do it, but I'm listening. Even though I was trying to get closure, she's just opened a lot of doors. There's a lot of shit's happened to her. And there'll be lessons to be learned from that. Really good material to talk about in the rest of a co-coaching session or subsequent. But for now, let's hear it for her. And thank you.